five grand. That's what you'll make if you agree to one fight. What? Win or lose. The two of us can make a lot of money. Thanks, but no thanks, Rick. But he can't turn down money if he hasn't got any. So we've got four weeks to send him broke. I'm HIV positive. No, I've caught it early, though, which they say is a really good thing. Look, do you mind if we talk about this a bit later? I just remembered I've left something at the diner. Right? Yeah. This is true. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, love. Okay. <laughs> I think we should stop before any more gets a little bit more than she bargains for. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awkward. I just want to take this a bit slower than I have before. Are you going upstairs or, or do you want to lock up, Don? Why would I be going upstairs? I'm just saying that now that you're dating Arthur, you don't have to tiptoe around the joint. I know I don't, and no, I'm not going upstairs so we can leave together. Right, yeah, I think. But since you brought the topic up, I was going to ask you if I could exchange a shift with you this week because I'm planning a special night out. Yes, with Martha. Yeah, of course you can, Dal. <laughs> so, things still on the boil then? Yeah, we're enjoying each other's company. It's great. Well, I must say I'm really pleased that something is going right around here for once. <laughs> oh, Godfather. Look at the size of that. What the hell is going on up there? Oh, thank God there was nobody in here. We just dodged a lawsuit with Aiden. Last thing we need is for the sealant to fall on the customers. Well, I'll get it looked at first thing tomorrow and hope it's nothing major. What's going on? Why are we closed? Didn't you get a message I left on your answering machine? No, it's been playing up. <sighs> we had a problem with the ceiling last night. When I checked this morning, whopping great cracks appeared in the top of the wall. A few cracks won't hurt anybody. This just isn't any old crack, Colleen. This is the Grand Canyon. Plus, there's plaster falling all over the joint. It's not safe to open. Oh, maybe we better not stand here. That wall looks a bit skew with to me. Well, we've got a builder coming, so until he does, you're more than welcome to keep clear. Are you guys having trouble down here as well? We've got all these cracks opening the walls upstairs. Oh, my God, Father, it's getting worse. What do you mean, worse? Well, we've had to shut up the shop. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, God. Heaven only knows how long it'll be before the whole place comes tumbling down around our ears. Sorry about yesterday, love. I know I handled things badly. It's okay. The last thing I wanted was for you to feel like I was rejecting you. I just felt like I'd been sideswiped and I, I couldn't cope with what I was hearing. I didn't want to say the wrong thing. One thing I do want you to understand is I want to help you. I want to look after you, whatever you need me to do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You'd think the hardest thing would be dealing with the virus. I'm fine physically, it's just telling people that brings me down. 
when I was diagnosed, though, I thought the same thing. You know, I thought I was going to die, and I thought my baby would be born with it. But that's not going to happen. There's medication that I can take that should stop the baby from getting HIV. And if I do everything right, then there's only the smallest chance that I'll pass it on. I had no idea. There's not much good in all of this, but... I do know that I'm already a better person. I'm stronger. I'm more mature. Um, I actually feel like I'm more compassionate towards others now. Even so, I'd, um, I'd probably still be a bit careful about who you tell. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm not actually going to tell anyone else unless I really need to. As long as the people that are closest to me know the truth, then that's all that matters. Hey, what's going on here? Some sort of outdoor convention. Oh, thank heavens you're here. It's a disaster. Right. It seems there's a structural problem. Um, Myrene and Roman are inside talking to a builder now. Well, what sort of structural problem? Well, the diner ceiling's falling apart and there's all these cracks in the walls upstairs. Can we go in and have a look? No, they said to wait out here till the builders had a look at the damage. My concern is that the cracks have appeared suddenly. Now, I expect a much slower process and a minor subsidence. What does that mean? Yeah, what's the worst case scenario? Well, the... Oh, Oh, uh, just cross that bridge when you come to it, Colleen. Martha, do you want me to get any more stuff out of there? No, I don't think you should, Grandad. It's too scary. Hey, Martha, did you grab those cowboy boots that I love? Yeah, so the first thing I packed. Hey, you can chuck the rest of that stuff in the van and then uh, I can take you to wherever you're going to stay. That's a good question, actually. Where are we going to stay? Oh, ah, now, well, that depends on how long we're going to be without a roof over our heads. Well, you can stay with us. Oh, what about Leah's? Um, no, well, Sally's already got a full house, and I don't want to worry Leah at this time, Cassie. Well, I guess we could squeeze into a van. 